Um, let's talk uh, a, a bit about something that we mentioned earlier, which is the high stakes in this event Tuesday night for Jeb Bush. You know, we've probably said it three debates in a row now, so I hesitate to say it again, but it does seem inescapably true that he's got to do something now to separate himself from the pack and to show that Jeb Bush uh, is a commodity that didn't just look good six months ago, that's still good and valuable today. Well, the biggest, this, for him, this is a donor debate. Yeah. That, that's what this is about yeah. for him. And the, in our reporting, we talked to many Bush donors who said, look, we may have to leave, but we're, gonna, we're not gonna go right now. This is his shot. So the financial lifeblood of his campaign is on the line Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And what does he have to do to <laughs> make good on it? Boy, he's got a tough uh, needle to thread there. He told us from the beginning, I think in an interview with you uh, early on, that the nominee has to be winning to lose the primary race to win the general election. He here, said, we <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Mission accomplished yeah, so right. far. Im on immigration, he, uh, he's out of step with the base on Common Core, the national education standards. He's out of step with the base. And he said, you're going you're gonna to note me. I'm going to be distinguished by my unwillingness to change on those two positions yeah. to meet the times. And you're going to accept me uh, as I am. And I'm going to run joyfully on my, the full plate of issues, including those where I'm out of step with the base. Marco Rubio has finessed immigration much more than Jeb Bush. He's stepped away from um, a comprehensive immigration bill, but he hasn't renounced everything he believes in immigration and somehow has softened his position. This, this debate should play right into his wheelhouse. He is a policy wonk, mm -hmm. and he has studied this for his life, his lifetime. He's an ex-governor. He has a record. He knows how things work in Washington. Everything about all of those attributes should be uh, to you put to good use tonight or to, on Tuesday night um, because the conversation should be about policy, economics, and taxes. The other thing about Jeb Bush that is surprising is in our last Wall Street Journal NBC News poll, we asked about the qualities of various candidates, and we asked, how do you rate this person on being effective in getting things done? And Jeb Bush did not rate very highly on getting things done. Donald Trump is perceived by Republican voters as far more effective in getting things done. And yet, Donald Trump, through his, his businesses have gone into bankruptcy, as we know. Jeb Bush, by contrast, was a very successful governor of Florida, a very conservative governor, and at the end of his term, he came out being perceived as the most, as an example of successful conservative governance. That somehow has not conveyed in this election. It is, it is available to him as something to say more forcefully. Which I think drives him crazy, probably. Mm. But it is room to grow. Yeah, that's if true. If they don't understand that, I'm, it's been uh, a long time since he was on a ballot. So a lot of people don't remember his record. So if he can remind them and educate them, that's an opportunity.